Okay, we have our financial market, the money supply, the demand for money, and our equilibrium interest rate. The issue is now what happens in this model when there's an increase in the level of output and the central bank at the same time follows a stimulatory or expansionary monetary policy. Now, let's look what happens when income increases. When income increases in the economy, the demand for money will increase. The reason is there's more transactions happening, so people need more money to do these transactions. And this, in terms of your diagram, shifts the money demand curve to the right. And there's this increase in the interest rate. And the interest rate increases. Now, if you follow an expansionary money monetary policy, it means the money supply increases in the economy. And in terms of your diagram, there's a rightward shift of the money supply curve. It's shifted sorry, to this level here. And as you can see, there's this change in the interest rate. Usually it leads then to a decrease in the interest rate. The question is, what is the end result? Now, in this diagram, you can see the end result is that we still have a higher interest rate compared to the original one. But it, this all depends on the relative shifts that is taking place. If the money supply, for instance, shifted to this level here, you can see that we will have a lower interest rate compared to the original interest rate. So we never can definitely say, say whether the interest rate is going to be higher or lower unless we know by how much these shifts are. 